What's up, Calc gang? All right, so we got this uh, circuit problem here. So we have a capacitor and two resistors in our battery, and um, it wants us to find the magnitude of the charge, or it says calculate the EMF, right? So we're looking for the EMF. So how are we gonna do that, right? Well, let's go ahead and just get started writing stuff down that we do now, and then how can we use that to get it going? So we're not gonna end up using uh, Kirchhoff's laws or however you pronounce it. Uh, because we're trying to find EMF, so let's go ahead and find some voltages first. So we have a parallel uh, circuit here, right? So it goes through this resistor and then it goes into the splits into here. So in parallel, we know that the voltages in both of this, uh, both of them are going to be the same, right? Or the potential exactly is going to be the same. So let's go ahead and try to find the potential, right? So we know the equation capacitance is equal to uh, charge or charge over. Uh, Potential, right? So we're looking for potential, we're going to multiply V over and divide by C, Q over C. So let's plug our numbers, right? So we don't have to worry about units because they're both in micro, so it's going to work out right. So it's going to get 36 is the charge over 9, and that's just going to give us that our voltage is equal to 4 volts, or our potential is equal to 4 volts, right? But that's not the number we're looking for, right? That's not actually EMF. What that's saying is that in this part of the circuit, it's equal to 4 volts. Or, yeah. So, because we said earlier, we know that the voltage or, or the potential is the same across certain or, uh, parallel lines. So, we know that the voltage here or the potential here is 4 volts, potential here is 4 volts. So, we can say that there's 4 volts here. Nice. So, let's go ahead and if we're going to use Kirchhoff's laws, right, we're going to start with E and we're going to go in a circle. We're going to need to know current and resistance, right? So, we know resistance, but we're going to need to find current. So let's go ahead and find current, right? Let's see how we're gonna do that. Well, let's find current in this one, I think. So let's just say that current here is I1, right? So I1, right? So we know that voltage is equal to current times resistance, right? V is equal to IR, very common. So if we're looking for voltage or a current, we're gonna say V divided by R is equal to I. So we know that V here is four volts and the resistance is six volts or 6 ohms, so it's going to be 4 divided by 6 is equal to I, which is, of course, 2 thirds. So this is useful. Why is this useful? Well, we know this, right? So we can say that, uh, if we label this I2, we know that when the capacitor is fully charged, right, there's going to be very little flow going this way. All of the flow is basically going to be directed around here because this is just going to be at equilibrium, right? It's going to be not doing anything. So we can say that I1 is equal to I2. Right, so it's going to say there's two third, or uh, there's going to be two third columns, or uh, amps, I mean, and going around this entire circuit here. So we can now just go ahead and use uh, Kirchhoff's laws, right? So starting at our EMF, right? Let's write an equation for this. So we're going to start at our EMF, positive EMF, and then our current is going to go this way. So we're going to go through this resistor, right? So we're going to lose uh, potential across this resistance of two, and then we're going to go this way, and then we're going to follow the current. And we're going to lose voltage at this resistor. So the resistor one is going to lose voltage. And then we're going to basically it's going to finish our loop. Once we go through these two, we should be at zero compared to the starting there because we've completed the loop. So we can say that's equal to zero. So expanding this out, EMF minus so V is equal to I R. So it's going to be I R two minus I R one is equal to zero. And we just said that the current in this both of these is equal to two thirds. We can say E, and let's move both of these to the other side, and then we can bring out the two thirds, R2 plus R1. So it's going to be four plus six. Okay, so then you just do these maths, and you're going to get 6.67 6, volts, right? 6.67 6, volts is your EMF. So this is just basically uh, using your uh, like you know critical thinking skills to think about what's going to happen when the capacitor is fully charged and then using Kirchhoff laws to complete the circuit. So there you go, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time guys, peace.